I made a lot of videos on this in the past, four of them to be exact. And people still don't seem to understand, you know, how it works. So this is the final episode, the fifth part and the final episode. By the way, don't subscribe to my channel if you like this content because I'm not making any more of these. Subscribe to my channel if you like my Minecraft video essays. I made a community post and a lot of you guys said you wanted this. And so I give the people what they want. The knowledge of my audience, not smartness, but knowledge, right? It ranges from really smart to not so smart. Some like to call me a genius and some like to call me <laughs> This is the comprehensive guide to keep everyone else gaming on iPadOS. I hope you enjoy. So where do we start? Well, I'm just gonna start by explaining how it works. So basically, um, this is only on iPad Pros, by the way. So if you don't have an iPad Pro, you can't necessarily play all games, but keep watching because you can still play some games, right? So when you go to accessibility, right, there is this thing called motion. And in motion, there's this thing called limit frame rate, okay? So what limit frame rate does is, oh, also, um, this is recorded in um, on March 24th, okay? So if you're watching past that date and there's another iPad in the future that has this feature, um, then it will work on that iPad. So basically limit frame rate, it, it limits your frame rate of the device, obviously, that's what a frame rate is. But what it also does is it enables an API in the rest of, um, of the OS, okay? And once the, it, it's enabled, um, it's basically a gaming API, right? And I don't know if you guys watched the, the um, WWDC of 2020, but they explained all of this, right? Um, and then you can go to switch control and you can set up uh, switches and recipes, okay? Um, in order to, you know, do uh, anything you want in the game. So when I go to switches, okay, you can see these are all these switches. So I've set up all these switches before. I'll set up a new switch just so you guys see how. Um, it has to be an external switch because it's not, it's not on the screen, it's not a camera switch. It's an external switch they're trying to activate. So external, and then you activate any switch. So I, I haven't activated right shift, for example. Uh, and then this shows up. Now you can't type here because um, that's just high enough how it works. This keyboard is connected, by the way. Oh, wait. Um, well, I think I have to save this switch. Oh, wait, that was already taken. Uh, right, shift. And then, now these are all the different kinds of um, things you can do with switching. So for something you might want to do auto scanning, for something you want to select item, um, select menu, um, tap. The most common one should just be tap. And by the way, just to prove the keyboard is connected, I didn't do any editing magic. That's just, that's just how it works. What did, did I open there? Pages. Okay, so that's basically how that works, right? Um, so that's how switches work. Now recipes, now what a recipe is, okay? So again, Among Us and Minecraft, I haven't done anything since last time. Uh, the launch recipe is Minecraft. Let's go to Among Us, for example. So you can see these are all the switches that I use for Among Us, right? Um, so these are custom uh, gesture switches. Um, and basically what that means is when you click a switch, you're doing a custom uh, gesture, right? But the thing with the gaming API is that, um, I don't really know how to explain it necessarily, but basically, um, whenever you have custom gestures, um, iOS is smart enough, um, with the, the new iPad Pro chips to understand, you know, what, what you're doing, um, without, you know, being completely... Like it, it understands that you're trying to activate the gaming API. And so it, it'll look at these switches, it'll, and you know, it'll, it'll automatically um, do those actions, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna do any cuts now because a lot of lot, lot people thought that I was screen sharing from a different computer. And then I was playing Minecraft on here and acting like there was keyboard mouse, which that, that wouldn't really make sense. Um, mainly because this is a four by three screen. And if I screen share from a PC, Unless that monitor was also four by three, it wouldn't make any sense. So anyways, you just saw me boot up the whole game. Now, the thing is I have to um, go to settings, boom, profile two. Okay, so now you can see here, all my buttons are here. Now, here's one very specific thing that people didn't realize last time, is that you see here that I'm moving around, but the joystick here isn't actually moving. 
This is what I was talking about. It's it's a gaming API that you have to enable, right? And you can see I'm uh, moving forward, holding space. Uh, I'm, I'm, wait, wait, what? Going forward, I'm holding space. I'm going diagonally. Um, if I let go, uh, let's see. If I'm I'm going forward, I let go of W, and you can see I start going straight up. And then again, when I hold thing, I go sideways. Um, and yeah, it, it works perfectly fine. I've also found some other keys. So my R is my is my um like my pet. Or my, I guess it's called a mount in this game. Um, let's see. All my air, all my buttons map to my different um items. Um, my control is my cursor change. Like if you look very closely and I press control, you can see that cursor changes right there. Um, yeah, I don't know. My my E is is, is my hook shot. Um, so I can I can hook shot. Um, oh my my H is my heal. My B. Um, is my mana potion, um, and my R, or not my R, I, I, I think it's Y is my buff. Oh wait, never mind, I, I already, oh wait, uh, I think B is buff actually, yeah. I had to put all my buffs by accident, whoops. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the, it's, it's just Terraria, right? Like, I'm not, an M is map, and I can move around the arrow keys with the map. Okay, I'm back, this is Minecraft. And you say, oh, that was a suspicious card, you know. Well, first of all, multi-key input is working. I mean, it was working before as well, but uh, multi-key input is working, like, obviously. But the mouse actually, it also works, right? Let's see, I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. And he's moving, I'm not clicking, and I can move around. Um, so I actually didn't change anything from the last, I mean, I did change the launch recipe. But aside from that, I didn't change anything. I know you might still be a little bit suspicious, right? Um, that, oh, I'm screen sharing from another PC, but if I am, then explain this, this keyboard is to this iPad. So that, that doesn't make sense. And you can see that my keyboard can only connect to one device at once. Okay. If I change it, actually, I can, I can prove you guys wrong here. If I turn the keyboard off, hold on, I turn the keyboard off and then back on. Okay. And it should be reconnected in a, there we go. So there's no way that I it connected to my other PC and it's still connected to this iPad, as you can see. Um, and again, I can I can Alt Tab, and it still works perfectly fine. Oh, it's a gaming API. If I go to Profile One, which, as you can see, there's no buttons anywhere. I can still control my character. <laughs> it's an API, guys. It doesn't. It, you're technically manipulating it. But you're activating an API in the OS, okay? Uh, this video is getting kind of long, by the way. Uh, hopefully, I didn't waste too much of your time, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.